Good morning, ladies from the Knitter Notter group. Um, Juliana just made my uh, new uh, flower chart. And she was quicker than I was and she made a beautiful combination with purple and white. And again, there were lots of questions about uh, the chart and of course about the changes I made in it with um, the R1 and the R2 stitches. Um, they sound more um, difficult than they actually are. So I'd like to show you what I did and why I did it. Uh, the chart is a flower uh, chart and I use the, the cross lines uh, to show up the fine of the, of the leaf. <clears throat> uh, when I uh, do that in the original way, i show you, to zoom in. In, in the start of this one, I, I just did the original stitches and then you see here the vine uh, but after that uh, there is the the c2 stitch and that always shows up as well so i thought well this is really not very neat uh, to show up how um how the vines are uh, going into the leaf so i was thinking how can i change it and i you can change it by making of this knit stitch an extra reverse stitch and then it will show up like this. And then it, this is more neat. So in this video, I will show you how I changed the, the C1 and C2 in the R1 and R2. So here's the start of row 30. In row 30, uh, there is a C2 and R2 to start with uh, the chart. So I zoom in a little bit so that you can see it maybe a little better. The first stitch is just the normal C2 stitch. So that is the twisted simple stitch. Make that one. The twisted simple stitch. And that's obviously uh, to make this beautiful uh, knitted uh, line in the pattern. So the first stitch is normal. The second stitch is normally a twisted uh, knit stitch in the same stitch well uh, as I don't want a, a white V here but uh, uh, an extra bulb like this as a reverse stitch I have to make a reverse stitch uh, it is not possible to make the reverse stitch in the same stitch as this one simply because there is no loop to put it in so what I do is I turn my work take my needle again turn my work And I take just the bulb below. So here is my uh, needle. And I take the white bulb just below this one. This one. Insert my hook there. And what you see then is that it looks like an extra reverse stitch instead of a knit stitch and then I continue till the end of row 30 and I'll be back to show you that one so we're at the back, the end of the row normally we make in this stitch uh, a C1 and a C1 stitch so a simple stitch uh, no I'm sorry a knit stitch and a simple stitch in the same stitch but then again you get this little white loop and I don't want that in this pattern so what do I do this one is really quite simple we make a reverse stitch and a simple stitch in this stitch well the reverse stitch is simply get the loop at the back side and for the simple stitch get the loop at the front side so this one is a little easier than the uh, C2 and the R2 so at the back side and the front side and then you see the little bulb here of the reverse stitch uh, and it's uh, more neat than uh, the other way. I hope that this little tutorial was helpful for you and that you can uh, make my uh, chart of the flower. I really look forward to what uh, you all uh, make of it. It's so nice to see uh, how your pattern works out when other people do it. So thank you very much. Thank you for watching. And uh, maybe my other videos are helpful for you as well. So please check uh, this, um, uh, uh, this uh, 
I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, my uh, YouTube channel, that's the word what I was looking for. Thank you very much.